Uh, the Prophet Sallallahu and Sayyidina Abu Bakr flee, right? We know the story that they go to seek uh, protection in uh, Thawr, uh, Qar Thawr, and uh, for three days and three nights. And so they're looking to keep this obviously under wrap with only trusted people. And, you know, it's a very, you know, secret mission. But she steps up to the plate of taking on the responsibility as a pregnant woman in her third trimester. Anybody here in their third trimester? Anybody? Oh, mashallah. So we have one, a couple of sisters. Now I want you to think about this. You know, we, uh, those of us who have had children, we know what the third trimester is like. You can barely walk, you know, a few steps without needing a break, right? Your back is hurting. You've got a lot of things going on. So just, I just was floored when you read the description of what she did in that state. We have to remember, I mean, we're, we're talking about the middle of the desert, Mecca, leaving the outskirts with um, people seeking to kill uh, the Prophet Sallallahu and her father, but she steps up knowing that she is also with child and she clearly is in, in her act showing where her love and her priorities and her hearts are. She wants to protect the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi and she wants to protect her father even at the risk of her own life and her own child's life. So this is an extraordinary woman who goes out. I want you to take guess. Does anyone know how far um, Ghar Thawr is from Mecca. How, how far? Anybody get? Take a guess, and, and use miles. You know, everything I read was like kilometers. I'm like, I'm I'm an American. I don't I don't know kilometers. So miles, please. Anybody? <coughs> miles. What do you think? How many miles? How many? Twenty miles. Mashallah. Anybody else? Any other guesses? Ten. Very close. Close. Seven miles. Seven miles. She would walk. It took her about two hours in the blazing sun as a third, as a pregnant woman in her third trimester. And this is where, you know, she again stepped up to the challenge and she, what was her purpose? She, need, she took them provisions and she acquired this beautiful nickname because when she was putting together the provisions, she didn't have anything. This is again to show you how little they had. She had nothing else to tie the water, um, you know, the water, what is it called? The the, the leather water pouch, there's a term for it, but she didn't have anything to tie that or the food. So what did she do at that time? The women used to wear a waistband that would uh, you know, prevent their, their dresses from falling. So she took that waistband and she tore it into two. And this is where she got the nickname Dhatun uh, Nitaqain, right? Which is referring to the, the woman of two waistbands. Because when the Prophet saw what she had done when, he, when she came and she's you know, to untying her you know, waistbands and giving them the provisions, he uh, made a beautiful dot for her and he said, indeed Allah has given you. So the words are, are important to to pay attention to. Indeed, Allah has given you, in exchange for these waistbands, two waistbands in paradise. So he is indicating to her that she is in Jannah. She is guaranteed Jannah, which is, a, a, again, an extraordinary gift. So subhanAllah, this was her sacrifice, and she was, again, willing to take um, that, you know, that uh, trek into the desert, risking her own life, two hours, two hours there, two hours coming back, four hours for three days, right?